Technically speaking, if you maintain a constant aperture size, and if the subject size within the image frame remains the same, then changes in the focal length and camera to subject distance will not substantially alter the depth of field. In fact, mathematically, they come very close to canceling each other out. If you use a 100 millimeter focal length lens to shoot an image of a person at 10 feet, the depth of field will be 0.5 feet. Switching to a 50 millimeter focal length lens will produce a longer depth of field and a much larger field of view. So to get the same subject size within the frame, we have to move the camera so that it is only five feet from the subject. This decreases our subject to camera distance and thus shortens our depth of field. This setup will also give us a depth of field of 0.5 feet. Though this may be true mathematically, in reality we will see that the result tells us something much different. The image at left was shot from approximately 2 feet with a 28 millimeter lens, with the lens set to f2.8. At right is the same scene, shot from approximately 8 feet with a 135 millimeter lens, and with the lens set to an f-stop of 2.8. If we input the information into a depth of field calculator, we find that the image on the left has a depth of field that is 0.17 feet long, and the image on the right has a depth of field that is 0.25 feet long. These are very close results, but comparing the two images side by side, we can clearly see that the image shot from the further distance with the longer lens appears to have a much shorter depth of field. Technically speaking, the depth of field is very close to the same, but visually they are very different. The difference between the two images has to do with the perspective that each of the lenses provide. The longer lens essentially magnifies the background and amplifies the fact that it is out of focus, while the shorter lens has the opposite effect by rendering the background much smaller and essentially masking the fact that it is technically out of focus. So in terms of the resulting image and artistic considerations, it could be said that focal length in this case tends to overpower subject to camera distance.